there are several comparison operators that we can use when doing our logic statements for if uh, statements. Um, so I'm going to, the easiest way to look at these is probably to just do it from the terminal. So I'm going to open up the Python terminal and um, and let's look at uh, the equal operator. So if I say five double equals seven, it says false. If I say five double equals five, it's true. But you typically won't use this double equals with um, um, with literals like that. Typically what will happen is you'll have some variable that will equal one thing and another variable that will equal another. And you might do something like this. Uh, X equals Y and you know, though well, that's obviously false. You can also, you'll also typically see this with X equal, you know, variable equals some literal value. And, um, and you'll be doing tests this way in an if statement. And later on, we're going to find that this also works in loops. Now, one aspect of the double equals is it does have to be a double equals. Um, watch what if I say X equal, because if I said X equals five, it doesn't return a true or false. It just assigns five to X. Um, or if I said X equals seven, you know, now X would equal seven. So the single equals is really assignment. And I recommend programmers say when they see the single equal sign is assigned to, and when you see the double equals, use the word is equal to with that one. So the double equals in programming is the real equality operator. The single equal symbol is the assignment operator. We also can check to see if something is greater than, so if I said X is equal to five and Y is equal to, to eight, then if I say is X greater than Y, it says false because five is not greater than, than that. But if I say is X less than Y, it will return true. Similarly, I can use less than, is X less, well, yeah, so we have the less than operator and the greater than operator. Um, you can also um, use the less than or equal operator. So if I said is X less than or equal to Y, we should get true. And is X greater than or equal to Y, we get false. And then is X less, less than or equal to five? Well, it, it's true that X is equal to five. So uh, in that case, that will return true. So you have less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal. Another operator we can do is, let's see, let's just remind ourselves what X and Y are, is we can say is, you know, we saw is X equal to Y. The opposite of that is X not equal to Y. So the exclamation point reverses that and it makes it not equal and it just gives you the reverse result. And then, you know, is X not equal to five well, it is false that X is not equal to five because X is equal to five. You're going to get into a number of double and triple negative situations. You can sometimes clean that up with the way you write your code, but you should become comfortable with tracing, you know, following where the double equals is. Now, let's look at this. Let's say we say X is equal to five and Y is equal to five. Is X equal to Y in this case? Yes, because now they're both equal to five, but is but let's see if X is Y. And in this case, it's true. This becomes different with uh, some, um, with something where they were using a, um, something like a string. Oh, let's do that again. X equals test, Y equals test. And then does X equal Y? And then it, let's check to see if X is Y. Oh yeah, in this case, they both point the same string literal. We need to do a little bit more with this to, to get this to show the difference. We could do it particularly comes in really more with lists. Let's try this one comma two comma three and y is equal to one comma two comma three. 
x equals y ends up being true, but x is y is false. So why is it that in this case with a string that it both is equal and it also is, but in this case we have two lists which are identical, but the is operator returns false. Well, with the immutable objects, Python's going to do things in an a particularly efficient way. What it's going to do is it's going to say, hey, you know, since these are identical, I'm just going to point this one at the same one. And so since both of these variables will end up pointing to essentially the same string, and it takes up less memory, um, they will be pointing to the same object in memory. In this case, though, since lists, once you create a brand new list, they are... Um, they could be modified. They have to put these in two separate places in memory and make these separate and distinct. So when you create a, every time you instantiate a new list, you'll actually create a new place in memory. And so the is operator really saying, is this pointing to the same thing in memory? And uh, there's also is not. So it is true that y is not, uh, that x is not y. So again, you do some negatives. It's always, usually for every thing that allows you to do something true, there's an opposite, right? So, you know, you have double equals and not equals. You have is and is not. Um, another operator that um, can be useful is is 2 in x. And it's true because if we look at x, there is a 2 in here. Um, is a 5 in x. Well, it's false because we don't have a five in there. So the in operator is there. And then also we have the not in operator. It's false that two is not in X because two is in fact in X. And it will be true that five is not in X because that's the case, five is not in X. So those are some of the operators that you have. Another thing we can do is chain operations uh, together. So let's say age is equal to uh, 50. Um, we could do something like this and you, you could say less zero is zero between is age between zero and 100. And that's true. You can also do things like this less than or equal to age, which is less than or equal to 100 and and so you can chain them together like this where you put them in the middle some languages don't allow this we have to do this a different way but Python does allow you to chain um, your operations together in that way so those are a, a number of the comparison operators that you can use in Python thank you